Hey everyone, this is Angel. Um, I wanted to talk about something that's really important this week that needs to be addressed and um, it's a little uncomfortable for me to say and for you to hear. And that's investing in your health. And by investing, yes, I do mean money-wise. Um, honestly, I used to be, okay, I still am <laughs> the cheapest person you will ever meet. I try to find deals on everything. I get coupons. Um, I never go anywhere. If I'm looking for something specific, I try to find a coupon for it. Otherwise, I'll shop online and figure out the best deal. Um, so, out of all people, I really, really do understand that money is important and not everybody has a lot of money to spend. So, when I'm talking about investing in your health, I really do mean, you know, you can't just buy the cheapest thing out there and think that it's going to be good for you. Because it's, it's probably not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, up until last year, actually a month or two, maybe even three after I became a coach. Um, I always, I mean, I would work out and I thought that I was doing well by my body by eating low fat or fat free or sugar free or um, putting in protein powder into my after post workout shakes that would be like $20 that I'd buy at Walmart. And to be completely honest, it did absolutely nothing for my body except something bad for it. Um, those protein powders are loaded with sugar and chemicals. And I didn't care at the time because I was cheap. <laughs> I was like, 20 bucks, it's, that's nothing. 20 bucks can last me for the entire month. Great. Um, so even after I became a coach, I was like, shake algae is so expensive. Why would I ever buy that? I honestly called my best friend who was a coach crazy for drinking it. Crazy because I was like, why would you spend that much money on something that's I mean, it's, it's going to last you a month. What, what Are you crazy? <laughs> and so when I became a coach, I honestly had no intention of drinking Shakeology. Um, and then I figured, well, if I'm supposed to be recommending it to people, I should probably try it. So I ordered a box of samples to send off to my customers as well as to um, try it myself. And I didn't really like the first few flavors that I tried. And I was like, well, if I'm going to be spending this much money on something, I'm going to like it. So I tried a few more flavors and it wasn't until I tried the chocolate the regular chocolate that I was like, holy crap, this is delicious. And I was like, well, I guess I can order a bag just to try it out for a month. And then I wasn't going to do it anymore because I was like, well, I don't, I don't really want to spend the money. And I didn't understand at the time that this really was an investment in my health and in my well-being. Um, so even just a week into drinking it, I felt amazing. Like, 
I had so much energy. My cravings, if you guys haven't been able to tell, I have a huge sweet tooth. Huge. And Shakeology is one of the only things that is able to curb my cravings. I'm not talking about getting rid of them. I don't think anything could ever get rid of my cravings. <laughs> but honestly, Shakeology, it has helped me so much. So I decided after maybe a couple weeks on my first bag of Shakeology that I would make this... I would make it happen every month because it made me feel amazing and it was so good for my health. It has so many vitamins and nutrients. I don't think you guys understand that you are getting so much nutrition in that one bag. That bag that's $130, it contains ingredients that would be 700 or more individually if you were not to get the Shakeology. Um, and it has no, none of that chemical preservative sugar crap that's in everything else. And, you know, I can honestly tell if I don't have my shake for a day, my cravings start to go right back up. I lose a lot of energy. Um, I mean, Shakeology is even, Help me to quit drinking coffee. I had no intention of not drinking coffee anymore. None. And it did that for me. Um, so, like I said, I understand the expense um, of it. But the thing is, look at what you're spending your money on. Uh, because... If you're going out and buying a coffee and breakfast every single morning, add that up. Is it over $4 a day? Because you could cut that out and replace that with Shakeology, which is $4 a day. So many people spend so much more of that, more than that, on fast food and coffee and shopping I mean, you can go out to dinner one night, spend $75. That is two-thirds the cost of a bag, and yet nobody says anything about that. Can, can you see where I'm going here? I mean, it's there are so many ways to figure out how to save money and start investing in your health, because without your health, None of that stuff that you're buying matters. Um, and if you're just spending money on these unhealthy habits, you're just contributing to making your life more unhealthy. Um, this is your life. Do you want to live it to the fullest extent? Or do you want to just exist? Because without your health, you're not really truly living and I can honestly say that now because I have boosted my health so tremendously over this past year by eating much cleaner foods drinking my shake allergy every single day exercising minimum five days a week mostly seven days uh, even if it's only a half hour and Honestly, the value is in your life. What do you value? Do you value that $4 every single day that you're probably spending on coffee and a donut or um, something else that you really don't need? Something that's just going to go into your closet and sit there? Not mine. <laughs> um... You know, where there's a will, there's a way. And um, I read this quote the other day that I posted on my Facebook. I'm not sure if many of you caught it, but it's by James Frick. And it's, don't tell me where your priorities lie. Show me where you spend your money, and I'll tell you what they are. It's so true. If you are going out 
and spending money on drinking and eating crappy food or shopping, your priorities are obviously not your health. And people need to realize that. This is your life. Make it the best life and the most healthful life that you can. Because your choices might not affect you right now, but they will affect you later on in life when you're wanting to play with your kids or your grandkids and you can't because you didn't take care of your health and you have all of these health problems now. You just have to think about it. You have to really evaluate what you value and make a decision. Um, because honestly, you're probably going to spend more later on than you would investing and being proactive in your health right now. So, I know this was extremely long, but think about it. I will talk to you guys all next week. All right, have a good day.